Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today I want to go over all the projects that I'm grinding, that I'm trying to get whitelisted for, or that I think will perform well. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion, and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. So the Pixel Project trend seems to be reaching its limits. We've seen over 90% of the projects that have launched in the past three weeks absolutely crash in price during their mint and not even sell out 10% of their total supply. So it is very important to try to get whitelist, and then you could just see if you want to minted or not. And yes, I understand that's part of the problem. People aren't minting a project because they're waiting to see if other people are going to mint it. But if that's the case and not enough people are buying something because they have a strong conviction that it is going to perform well, the project would most likely not succeed either way. So it doesn't really matter in the end because 99% of projects are going to fail. So it's better if people do not end up putting their money into these projects in the first place. That being said, there are still two pixel projects that I am very hopeful for, and that's going to be Wolf's as well as PX. Quest. So the first one I mentioned was Wolf's. This one is launching very soon on December 28th. However, you can still get whitelisted for it in their discord. It says they have something like 700 spots left. Now I really love the art for this project. I think a lot of people can relate to it, especially the legendary ones. However, if it weren't going to perform well, I think it would be due to the fact that they took a very long time to launch the final product. In my opinion, we're seeing a lot of discords launch way too early and they end up losing a lot of the hype that they had for their project. Now, when it comes to Wolf's, their general chat is still very active. So I'm hopeful that this is not the case for this project because I really like the art. As I said, I think a lot of people can relate to it. So I find myself rooting for it and wanting it to do well. The other one that just opened up is called PX Quest. Now our Discord was already at 18,000 members. This wasn't a Twitter Discord drop. Their website had a countdown so you could have seen the exact moment when their Discord was gonna launch and you would have had the best chance at getting the early roll. So what PX Quest is trying to do is launch a 2D free to play MMO game. Now I have not yet seen a demo for this game. However, they have put a lot of effort into the designs for their characters. They have five different races with eight different classes and they've also released a white paper. Now in this white paper, you see that you'll be able to complete dungeon quests in order to receive weapons, armor, as well as resources. And you'll also be able to duel against other players by wagering your Kronos token, which is the token for this project, as well as different items and resources. Now they're also gonna have land ownership, which is gonna give special benefits to those who own it, such as the ability to mint better gear, have better raids, so larger dungeons. And of course, you will be able to build on your land with the resources you've earned. So the initial launch is gonna be 5,000 NFTs, and then they're gonna have a Gen 2 launch where you're only gonna be able to summon the NFTs using their Kronos token. So I really like this project. I did manage to win a coin toss in their Discord and I got some whitelist spots for my Patreon. I'm very happy I did that and I would definitely recommend trying to get whitelist for this project. Next on our list is Azuki. Now there hasn't been that much new news for this project. However, they did finally launch their website. It looks very clean. I truly love the art style for this project. I've actually been in talks with one of the founders and I can tell you this isn't your typical NFT project. They aren't gonna have a traditional roadmap. So don't expect any crazy big promises. Their goal really seems to build a brand for the internet and for people like us, which they call the skaters of the internet. He actually shared some of our DMs on Twitter where he says, we are the skaters of the internet. We're just skating on web three. So this will be a 10K collection. As I said, I really love the art style for this project. I even want one of their posters for my studio that you see on their Twitter. Based on the characters from the homepage, I assume they're gonna have very nice merch as well as wearables for the metaverse, which I think is a safe bet as here they say a brand for the metaverse. So I would definitely recommend getting in this discord and trying to get whitelisted. Next, I spoke about this one the other day. It's called Metroverse. It's a land play and land is definitely trending. They also have a really cool game concept. It's being picked up by a ton of different influencers on YouTube and Twitter. So this is another project that I would personally try to get whitelisted for if I didn't already get whitelist for all of my Patreon, which I did. Next is another art project. It is called Invisible Friends. We've spoken about it many times, so I won't go into detail. They just launched their website. Although it is very bare bones, there's basically nothing to read. You could just look at their beautiful animations, but I cannot stress how badly I want to get whitelisted for this one. I currently own one Slim Hood and one Mood Roller. Now there are not enough whitelist spots for every single Mood Roller and Slim Hood holder. You have to hold one of each. However, even at that, there's only 2,500 whitelist spots and there's something like 2,900 Mood Roller owners and 2,700 Slim Hood owners. So I feel like they're just going to raffle them off to people who own both. Now, if you don't own both, I wouldn't recommend just going out and spending something like 0.4 ETH to purchase one of each. What you can do is grind their Discord to level 10 and then you will get a channel called Invisible Games that's gonna open up 
and then you're gonna be able to play different games to try and get whitelisted. Next, of course, we always cover them together, Invisible Friends, right next to web-generated modular interfaces. They did have a marbles game where you were able to win whitelist through another Discord. However, this one, just like Invisible Friends, I do think it is gonna do very well, so follow them on Twitter and try your best to get whitelisted. However you can, create art, answer their tweets, put funny memes, whatever you gotta do to get whitelisted for this project, do it. Next we have Hate Beast. Now Hate Beast is by far the most hype project that we have coming up in the next month and probably in the next 10 months. They finally announced their launch date as well as their price. It is going to be launching on January 19th with a price of 0.2 Ethereum. Now I've heard a ton of people speculate that the reason for the far mint date is due to some partnership with Supreme or Balenciaga. And I personally don't think that's the case. I think Digi is just putting everything into his art and he wants to ensure that it is as amazing as possible. They're also auctioning off a Santa Hape, which is part of the Genesis collection. So you will get all of the benefits that the Genesis Hapes get, which are two mints from the Hate Beast collection, one of those being for free. You will get access to the Genesis chat and you're also gonna get some unlockable content. I have no idea what this is, but I look forward to chatting with the winner to find out what they got. Now, as I said, this is one of the most, if not the most hyped up launch that we've had for a very very long time right up there next to Clonex. So I definitely think it's worth trying to get whitelisted for because this is basically guaranteed profit. And there's still something like 1000 whitelist spots available in their discord. Next on the list, keeping up with 3D apes is Prime Ape Planet. Now I really love the look of these pieces. The art looks phenomenal. It's by a well-known artist who worked on a ton of box office hit movies like Avengers and Godzilla. My one issue with it is the discord. It was 100% completely botted. There are almost at 250,000 members and the way they're doing whitelist is essentially you have to grind in the discord so you're basically just competing against bots i tried to reach out to the team i tried to tell them i wasn't able to get a hold of them i do think they should completely change how their discord works they need to cleanse a ton of bots i think it's safe to say that something like 50 percent of the accounts in there are bots so they need to do a purge they need to maybe talk with another project and figure out how other projects are cleaning out their discord and getting rid of all these bots however that being the case i still do really think you should get whitelist for this one because when you compare it to something like crypto bull society that project is currently at 2.5 ethereum and these pieces are just as nice as the bull ones and these are about apes so i can easily see this going to something like one ethereum if enough real buyers are actually involved in the project another one which i have not been able to get whitelisted for yet and i have no idea how it seems to be handpicked so you're gonna have to stand out i've been creating fan art you know what's funny a lot of people complain that i get a lot of free stuff for being a youtuber and influencer which which is true I definitely do but my entire Monday and most of my Tuesday was spent grinding discords writing a ton of messages engaging with people and creating fan art I made three different fan art pieces for different discords so there are these projects where I have to grind just as much as you guys so I understand the frustration with a lot of these whitelists and I do think it is gonna have to change due to the amount of bots that are in these discord servers but regardless I do really love how this project looks the art style is phenomenal if you go to their Twitter you can also see that they have female voyagers so overall I am just really excited for this project there are gonna be 5,000 pieces there is no official price yet however somebody mentioned in my last video that the price is 0.3 ethereum I have not been able to confirm that if it is 0.3 that is more on the expensive side granted it is not as expensive as something like clonex which was roughly 2 ethereum but of course they do not have the reputation that artifact has but regardless of that 5,000 pieces the art for this collection looks amazing so I do think it is worth getting whitelist to be able to see where the price is gonna go and then make your decision from there another project where the discord opened up last week is MGXS now there is no website yet however the artist has worked with artifact studios before and if you look on their Twitter if you look in their discord you do get a sneak peek and these pieces look very weird but i am a very big fan of how they look my one fear is that these pieces are going to look very similar there's going to be 10,000 of them in the collection so i think the odds that they look similar are pretty high it's going to be static pieces so it's not like this previous one where it's all going to be animated maybe the legendary ones are going to be animated but they specifically mention it's going to be static in the discord so we're going to have to wait and see what they're going to look like because as beautiful as these pieces are i am scared where we get another situation with a collection that all of the nfts just look the same so there is no information on how to get whitelisted yet for this one either but 
regardless, hop in their discord, try to get whitelist. As I said, this person has a connection with Artifact. And as you know, Artifact has a Nike deal, Artifact popped off. So hopefully that rubs off onto this collection and this collection manages to do very well. Speaking of Artifact, another person who has collaborated with Artifact is Jeff Staple. We have here his collection Stapleverse. I was super hyped about this one. I managed to get whitelist in the pecking order where you sign up on their website. I tweeted that a while back with all the instructions on how to do it. However, I'm not sure what to make of this project because they have been releasing feed NFTs, which is what it seems this collection is going to be. And it says there's going to be 10,000 NFTs total and only 20 varieties for 0.1 Ethereum each. Now I know this person has a very good reputation. His NFTs in collaboration with artifacts sell for something like 4.2 Ethereum, but I'm really not sure what to make of this. If this is going to be the entire collection, if this is just some entry into the collection, and then it's going to allow you to combine them or use them as feed to something else. Cause like I said, if you go to OpenSea and you look up his collection, that's a collaboration with Artifact. This is what I thought it was going to be. This pigeon looks awesome. Like I would love to own this. It's too expensive. I'm not going to buy a pigeon for 6.7 Ethereum. Some of them are eight Ethereum, the fully metallic ones, but this pigeon looks awesome. It's animated. He's super cool with his little backpack and his night vision goggles or VR goggles, whatever he's wearing. So I really wanted one of these, maybe even a little baby one. I don't know. I just want to keep it as a pet. So I was excited. I thought this was what the project was going to be. So I'm really looking forward to finding out more about this project and finding out what it's going to be because it's called Stapleverse. So I'm expecting some sort of metaverse play out of all this, especially since in the past he's created this 3D type of art and he's worked with Artifact who just had their Clonex launch. The other thing is every Friday they've been talking to Coinbase. They have a Coinbase show. So if this is going to be one of the main projects on Coinbase, that can be massive. So I'm really excited to find out more about this project. I'm going to try to tune in to their next Coinbase show just so I can find out more about what's going on. But like I said, I was really expecting something more like this and not like the feed that we saw on Twitter. Next, we have Elio Trades who just opened up his Discord. Now I have no idea what the project's going to be. However, I definitely think you should get in there because of course it's Elio. So you know, it's going to be massive. Anything he puts his name on, anything he talks about absolutely blows up just like Alex Becker. The other thing is he's doing riddles. So you can follow clues on his Twitter. You can follow clues in his discord and somebody solved one yesterday and they won two Ethereum plus an NFT for a total of roughly $10,000. But there is currently another riddle or ARG. I don't even know what to call it. There is another riddle going on in their discord where you can win prizes. So if you're good at that stuff, hop in the discord and try to solve it. If you're not good at that stuff, I still think you should be in the discord because again, it's Elio trades. So you know, it's going to pop off next on our list. We have the Naruto NFTs and there is no discord for this yet, but you know, these are going to absolutely pop off. So I would definitely recommend tracking this Twitter. I don't think we're going to have anything till 2022. That's when they plan on releasing the bulk of information. You can also follow the founders, Clay and Sydney. Now this leads me to my next point. So we saw the Dow trend. We saw the pixel project trend. We are currently in the land metaverse slash 3d avatar trend. And what we're seeing now is what I think the next trend is, or I think it's pretty obvious what it is. It is all these big companies as well as celebrities getting into NFTs and creating their own projects. So we had Pepsi, we had Adidas, we had Nike. Then the other day we had the Steph Curry NFT. And I think now we're going to start to see a lot of brands, a lot of TV shows, a lot of animes and cartoons start to make their own NFTs because they're realizing how much money they can make in this space if they simply come in and release an NFT. And we're even seeing TikTok just open their own discord as well as world star hip hop. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace. Uh -huh.